Hello everyone, Nathan here again. This time we're going to be installing texture packs for my test. You know, every now and then you just want to spice things up a little bit, you know, change things around, you know, maybe make things a little bit different. Um, so if we head over to the um, my test website, we have texture packs, popular and all. I'm not even going to visit the popular ones because it only lists like five and it's really, I guess they're popular, but they just don't appeal to me. So we're going to run through and um, let's see. Let's just try Vatic's Minecraft Faithful. Don't know what it is, but we'll give it a spin. So it looks like All right. Where's our download link? Ah. Mm, yes. Okay, so, well, on there we will just download this. This one's only one megabyte, so it's not too bad. Yeah, let's open it with, um, one thing to note, sometimes these texture packs can get really huge. Um, one of them that I know of, I believe HDX textures, yes, this is the one by Vanessa. Um, this one here, you can download a 512 pixel version um which right here it's about 1.1 gigabytes for the 512 picture <laughs> um so yeah pretty much uh, i like to notice you can use as much as seven gigs of ram so yeah um you can get some really really high resolution stuff but you're gonna need a, a um a little more powerful of a machine to run it so to install it we again head over to our mind test directory which on linux is home and then dot mind test and we are going to create a new folder called textures and then we will throw in this mc faithful texture pack close that down and then launch i don't know what i just did there it made a typo we will launch my test i already have a world and then we'll do texture packs and it lists an mc faithful and then we head over to single player, hit play, and voila, we have the MC Faithful Texture Pack, which, that looks a little odd, but it does, I will admit without shame, I have no idea what that was, I don't know if you heard that, I forget if I have speakers sound recorded as well, so for you and I had, okay, never mind, I thought when I attacked to that plant it made a sheep uh i guess there's a sheep around me someplace well anyways this is kind of a minecraft looking texture so again you can pretty much add any textures you want and you can swap them um we just do exit to menu and then just texture packs and we can go right back to none right back into the game and we are now playing with the mind test default textures gonna close that out there another sheet was some of the texture packs whoops I'm the wrong place here some of the texture packs they will tell you ba -ba -bum, supported games and mods and this one kind of has a list so if you go with this uh, what's it called the photorealistic photorealistic HDX pack it has support for all of these mods. Now if you go with the texture one I picked, which, you know, I don't even remember what that was. Was that Faithful? Um, man, I feel really stupid. I don't remember which mod I did. Uh, texture pack, rather. Um, um, <laughs> um, I really have no idea which it was. Was it Micah Faithful? It may have been. It sounds like it. Yes. Um, okay, this one doesn't mention anything about mods. So this one may or may not have the textures for the mods. Usually speaking, if there's not the texture in the texture pack, it should use the default textures from the mod, but it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes you will get 
things moving around that just have no texture at all. Or rather, I should say, they will have textures, but it'll be of image not found, which looks kind of dumb. Here we have a 4x4. This one says... Ba -ba -bum. Where did it say it? Here we go. Only for my test game. Uh, so this has no, no textures for any of your mods. This only has the default my test stuff in it. So this one for sure would not have textures for your mods, which then looks a little odd when you're you have a mod pack or not a mod pack, just a mod installed, and you're playing and you have totally different graphic look on that versus what the texture pack has. And you can always make your own texture for the mods if you want to. It's all very well, I shouldn't say it's very easy to do, because you do have to have some skill, but it is possible. And I may go over and show you how to do that in a future video if there's enough interest. But from now, I am going to wrap things up, and I will see you next time.